So later this afternoon, we expect to learn more about what happens now with a young Jacksonville man arrested last week, accused of helping plan an attack at a September 11th memorial ceremony last Friday. The FBI says that Joshua Goldberg thought he was communicating with a Muslim extremist when he encouraged the informant to add rat poison, they say, to shrapnel to make the bomb more lethal. Agents also say the 20-year-old claimed credit online for the attack in Texas at an event where cartoon drawings of the Prophet Muhammad would be on display. Two people died that day. Local attorney Curtis Falgatter is joining us now this morning. Good morning to you. Thanks for being here. I appreciate it. Good morning. So detention hearings. Um, there aren't many people who are real familiar with how things work in federal court. We're certainly much more familiar in, in local court. What is a detention hearing? Is it the same thing as a bond hearing? Is it it's, it's almost the same. The difference in federal court. In state court, you can get a bond, typically. In federal court, you either get detained, which means they keep you until the case has been concluded, or you get conditions of release. This is a crime of violence. The prosecutor has asked for detention. In all likelihood, given the factors you just recited, this gentleman, Mr. Goldberg, ought to be detained. It's interesting because knowing what we do and the little information that came out, quite frankly, last week from investigators in this case, we know that this was a young man. He was, um, in fact, the FBI said they had to wait several days before they would even see him emerge from his family's home in Orange Park. He appears to have been somewhat of a recluse. We know that earlier he had been homeschooled. Considering the fact that it doesn't appear from the information that we have at this point that he was caught with any serious ammunition or weapons or bomb-making equipment, and this was mostly on the line from what we're hearing, does it make it more difficult to prosecute as a former U.S. attorney, you know, as a prosecutor yourself? Not necessarily because of the nature of the charge. The charge here, Congress was farsighted enough to pass a statute that says c the crime is communicating the information about creating explosive devices or weapons of mass destruction. And, of course, that's what they investigated, a 33-page report. They've got all this Internet information, and he clearly was communicating that information, sending how to make bomb uh, information. That's the crime. So they'll have no difficulty prosecuting that particular statute. Okay, considering this, Zach, now you're a defense attorney now, how would you defend him? in this case? I mean, I mean, you know, can you make the argument, well, somebody else could have been using the computer? You can, but the problem is it's at his home. Is he going to blame his mom, his dad? Most, uh, you know, sons wouldn't do that. Very few uh, defense attorneys would find that to be a viable defense. And, of course, the parents will obviously deny it. And, and he's using vernacular that is unique to a 20-year-old and not really to the parents. Are you surprised to see what we have really over the last year and a half um, where you've seen really kind of both sides defended and, and prosecuted several years ago. So many, it appears to be at least accused, kind of homegrown terrorists. Yeah, it's really shocking that in America, you know, uh, with uh, the upbringing we have and all the benefits we have, that you'll find citizens that, that are willing to uh, engage in that type of horrific activity. It's, it's, uh, I, am, I suspect there's some mental health issues involved with this young man, too. Uh, to be involved in something like that, but still, it's, it's, it's a uh, frightening prospect. What does he face? Uh, the statutory maximum is 20 years, but the federal sentencing guidelines uh, provide for what appears to be a recommended guideline range of about four to five years. The judge could give him worse, could give him less. So about a half a decade in prison is the ballpark that he's looking at. Would you be surprised that he would get 20, considering the fact that he's young and it doesn't appear he's ever been in trouble before? There, I don't see, I mean, it's a bad, bad crime. And what he did with the rat poison and all that is terrible. But the guidelines still are likely to, go, to be applied, and which puts him in the four to five year range in federal prison. Chris, thank you very much for My being pleasure, here. I do appreciate your insight on this.